Well, what's up, YouTube peeps out there? YouTube land, you already know this is your girl, Burnett Perkins, and I'm coming back with a video, and it's not a reaction video, y'all. It's just a video I want to come out here and say to to say to some of the ladies out here. But anyway, I'm having a little dinner I bought from Dollar Tree, ribs, and macaroni. I started to cook me some rice, but I'm like, nah, I have a dinner appointment, so I better eat before I leave. Cause they about to get ready to do some work on my mouth. Yeah, I gotta get work done on my mouth, you guys. So, this this tastes okay. It don't taste the best. Maybe a little rice should have went with it. But anyway, I um uh, want to come on here and talk to you ladies about something. I'm not gonna be able to finish this whole entire video. This is for the ladies. And I'm having a little ginger ale. You know, you can't have all that sweets when you're diabetic. But, um, this is for my <clears throat> my queens out there. Do you think, do you know, do you feel <clears throat> that you're worthy? <clears throat> Go and check out my other video that I made. I don't know what I put down for it, but you'll see I have on a green screen scrub send in the car email baked potato and I would I was just you know giving y'all a story about myself on um, my friend on how he trying to run things you can't run nothing um you can't run nothing when you up in age and you don't experience so much with a man, you start in your own ways. And if you worthy, if you worthy, you're not going to take no trash from no man. Period. Don't take no trash from your boyfriend, your fiance, or your husband. No. Don't take it. Because you worthy. You much more than what you think your values are to a man. I'm not here to bash no men, okay? So this is not what it's going to be about me bashing men. I'm coming on here to talk to the ladies out there in YouTube. I'm not trying to um tell you what to do in your relationship. I'm just trying to, you know, give you um, some... Um, inspiration on who you are if you don't know who you are or if you feel like you lost and you sad and you're depressed and you're confused and you're in a relationship you don't want to be in because you think you're not worthy to walk away from that relationship or that marriage you're afraid to walk away because you don't hold any values and he holds all the values and when I say all the values I mean speaking of car in his name, house in his name, the bills in his name, nothing in your name, and you're afraid to walk away and start all over again, or your credit is messed up, and you feel like you can't start, if you have a job, you can go somewhere else, over to a girlfriend house, a family house, you're worthy, if you can't do that, you're still worthy, let me rephrase that, okay? If you can't do it, you're still worthy, okay? Sit it in your mind. I can do this. I can do this. How do you think people became who they are? And when I say people, I'm speaking of people that have money. That's rich. Whether it's a woman, whether it's a man, they rich. Because they thought positive thoughts. They may have thought negative, but they rearranged their mindset. To think positive. And that's what we as women are okay you notice what i said not you i said we we as women are this is what we are okay i really hate to be eating and um doing a blog at the same time but i'm gonna make this a mukbang spiritual mukbang blog so mm, it's about time for me to go too but ladies, don't feel like you cannot start all over again. Don't feel like you trapped. 
And I'm gonna make this clear. This video is not made for you to um go out and do anything crazy or stupid. If you feel uncomfortable not doing anything, then stay where you are because you're comfortable, you're happy, and you're not worthy. Mm -mm. That means you don't love yourself. You love what you're in. You don't love yourself. And you're supposed to love yourself first. Well, I know you're supposed to love God first. Then you're supposed to love yourself second. But, y'all, we got to open up our eyes and our mind. We thinking with our heart. And when you're thinking with your heart and you're in a relationship where you don't want to be, you have the wrong mindset. You have the wrong mindset. You don't have to be in a relationship because that person has more than what you have. Get up, get out, and get your own. And be in control of yourself. Don't allow nobody to be in control of you. Don't allow a man to be in control of you. Don't. One lady came on here and uh, she was crying. I'm not going to say her name, but hell, I don't even remember her name. But I can see her name in my mind. Well, I kind of remember her name. I'm not going to even disclose her name. She came on here, she made a video, and she was crying. And she was saying that she paid pretty much everything. She take care of everything. Herself, the children, and her husband. And she came on here crying. And I'm like, wow. She said she don't even feel right. She said she can't even think. He tell her she ain't shit. And when I say that, y'all might know who I'm talking about. This lady said, this dude told her she ain't shit. If he tell you you ain't shit, if a man tell you that, that means he don't give a damn about you. He ain't saying it because he mad. This is something he been thinking a while back. He contemplated on that thought. A man got one time to tell me I ain't shit. It's going to be his first time. In his last time. And I'm not going to give a man the opportunity to, to tell me I ain't shit. You can tell me I'm lazy and sorry. But you ain't going to tell me I'm shit. That's not going to happen. Because I am a queen. And you should think you're a queen as well. And we all are queens. Don't matter what color you are, black, white, Puerto Rican, Latino, Mexican, Uganda, Nigerian, Haiti, whatever culture a woman a woman are, she's a queen. She's a queen, okay? So don't you never let a man tell you you ain't shit. Father Mo. Don't even let a man put his hands on you. Don't give him that 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 opportunity to just feel like he can put his hand on you. If he put his hand on you one time, he gonna do it two, three, four, five, and on and on and on. Because you allow it. Because you feel like you can't get out of it. Let me tell you something, baby. Soon as he closes his eyes or go somewhere, I'll be out of there. Baby, I'll take whatever I can. Two shirts, two pair of pants, two pair of panties, and a shoe. And I'm out of there. I'll be just like Tina Turner when I was sweet. She grabbed them children and sister was going out the door. And then the thing about it, she called her mama and told her mama, her mama read her out. Don't tell nobody where you're going. Just go. Just go. And when he go to calling you, somebody, baby, I'm sorry. Baby, I won't do it again. 
Don't block him. Get your phone number chain. Get your phone number chain. Don't tell him where you at. Because he's going to come looking for you. I'm going to tell y'all a story real quick. Then I'm going to get out of here. And start my video back when I get back from the dentist's office. If I'm able to talk. Because while I'm chewing right now. My teeth is hurt. When cold hit it. Just recently in my hometown. Which I told y'all about. I'm from Georgia. I'm a peach. This man. Matter of fact, this man and this woman, they divorced. He called her. Y'all hear me? He called her and told her, I'm going to kill you. That's what he told her. Soon as her children went to school, he did the thing. She called 911. 911 was on their way. He killed them. He killed the lady, y'all. Because he just couldn't deal with somebody else. She, her being in a relationship. After he killed her, this character killed himself. So now, they both are deceased. Now the children don't have neither one of the parents. The kids are in high school. But the little one is in elementary. So now the children got to be deal with this. But these, these men ain't playing. And I'm going to talk about these ladies too. I'm not just going to sit up and, and talk about the men. I'm going to talk about the men. The, um, I'm going to talk about us tonight. About these men. And you know. I ain't getting us off the hook that quick. But ladies, do what you got to do to make yourself feel valued. You know, sometimes we go and put on a wig and put on a lashes, get all the nails and toes down. That does a plus for us. That do make us feel upbeat. But it don't take hair and nails to make you feel upbeat and feel worthy. You got to feel it within your soul, your body, your spirit. You got to feel something deep down inside. Mm -hmm. This here, this here. I don't have my nails done. I just don't do my nails. I get my toes done. But get my toes done, make me. Okay. Now, I am back, you guys. Um, I'm uploading a video on this phone that I did real quick. I did a reaction video, and it's uploading so slow. So, it is what it is, but it, it's coming. And I got to change my setting on here. So, y'all give me a second. I went about this cool freaking light. Let me show y'all what I got. I don't know if it took a picture. Well, I think it took a picture. Yeah, it did take a picture. I don't think I can show y'all. But I will be showing you later on. Let me see how this is working. You're going to hear some clicking. I think that's the brightest I can get it. But it's a new LED light. But anyway, 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 anyway. I'm coming back with a reaction that I made earlier today before I went to the dentist. Y'all, I went to the dentist. You remember I said earlier when I had on the black shirt or whatever. They did he did some work on this side. And I'm gonna let him go ahead and do this side. Um, because this side so far it looks pretty it feels pretty good. I just can't chew on it for four days. So y'all see me in the video that I was making a reaction in. I was chewing, but not on this side. So he really did a great good job. Awesome job. Let me put it like that. And the reason why I say that is because uh, when I drink something cold, I don't feel it. And my face, my jaw, my, my gum is not numb or anything. So, and he did prescribe me some um, antibiotics, you know. So, she did give me some for pain. And she was like, T get you some Modrin or some Tylenol. I don't take that. I take goodies. I'm old. I just take goodies. 
that soothing my pain. So anyway, and I'm starting to feel a little pain anyway when I talk. But anyway, I'm going to finish this video. You ladies, um, like I was saying, I don't get my nails done, but I do get my toes done because I wear sandals or whatever, whatnot, okay? But this light, this light just not bright enough for me. Ladies, you are worthy. Don't let your um, boyfriend, fiance, husband feel like they can talk to you any kind of way. And when I, let me make it clear when I say, let me say this on the husband part, okay? Because a boyfriend, a fiance, you still, you didn't still say I do yet, okay? Especially when you're just a boyfriend. You, you just not obligated to. You're still not obligated as a fiance. You just processing and then you're thinking about going forward with being a wifey. But when you are a wifey and your husband call you out of your name, call you bees and hoes and slut and you stupid, you dumb, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? When he go to saying stuff like that, it's not because he's mad. It's because that's how he really feel. We say things when we mad, but sometimes we be meaning them things, okay? Now, I ain't telling you to get up and pack your shit and leave your husband. Because you can't come stay with me. Okay? I'm sorry. Because I'm about to leave this house my damn self. Because I'm going through a divorce. But anyway, do not allow a man to dictate who you are. You have so much going on. You, if you don't, you can. You just got to get up and do it and stop saying, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I don't know how to do it. I'm afraid to do it. Baby, let me tell you who got your back. God. God has your back. Keep the faith, trust, and belief in God. He'll, he'll work things out for you. It might not be when you want it. Hell, don't like things working out now. If if this character is calling you out your name, whether you are a boyfriend, fiance, or a husband, you putting up with that. Girl, get out there. Don't let that cat talk to you like that. No, 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 no. I'm going to say one thing about my soon-to-be ex. He never, we've been, we dated for a year and then we got married. And then we've been married eight years. So this marriage has ran its course. It really have. It don't ran its course. And I'm going to um, tell you why it ran its course. Because he materialistic. He's crazy about material things. He's crazy about. He loved this house. He loved he have a pool and a jacuzzi. He loved that Corvette. He loved that motorcycle. He loved that he um have you know have three checks coming in. He loved bragging about what he had. That's what he do. So this marriage is ending, I'm thinking, because of what he loved. He loved material things. Now, when I met him, he was he was a good guy. Good guy. I mean, really, really good guy. He took care of me very well and still taking care of me right now because I'm still in this house. And I'm not leaving this house until I get my money. It was already said by my lawyer through his lawyer. She's not going nowhere until he give her her money. Okay? But when he give me my money, you guys, whew, ain't wasting no time. I'm out of here. I ain't playing. If I don't have something by the time, it's, it's, you know, by the time it's time for me to go, if I don't have an apartment, I'm going to stay in an extended stay motel. Off of his dime. Not mine. Because my money's still going to go to the bank, okay? That's how worthy I am. He's going to pay for it. You get what I'm saying? So don't be stupid, dumb, fire, or crazy. Don't do it, ladies. 
I just can't get over the young lady that was sitting in the car crying because she said her husband told her, I think, to shut the fuck up. Oh, he, he told her she was stupid. And she said she went to thinking it. She went to thinking that, ladies. That she was stupid. How do you think you stupid? You can say I made them. Damn, I don't fucked up. I fucked up. But you're not going to sit up there and say you stupid. No, 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 no. She said she pay all. She pay the bills. He's driving her car. She ain't driving his car because he don't have a car. Come on, y'all. Wake up. Smell the aroma. Smell the coffee. Hmm. You can't be. Ain't no way in the hell. We run into some niggas that got some good eggplant, like Anastasia said. And we get hypnotized. But you got to snap out of it. You're not using this. You're using that. You're using your flesh, your body for pleasure. You're not thinking about how you being abused mental I can't speak for physical but mental you being abused and you don't got immune to it. Make sense? Do it make sense? Find somebody. I'm not even going to say find somebody. Work on yourself first. This is why when I made that video, when I made about old boy talking to me crazy. No hell. No hell. And uh, he needs some milk. He needs some milk. You got the wrong queen, bro. Period, poor big caps. I have daughters. I have granddaughters. Let me tell you something. My granddaughters look up to me. I'm somebody to my granddaughters. That's how much the, my babies love me. And I refuse. I refuse to be with somebody that's going to disrespect me or put hands on me. And my grandbabies got to see it. And then they're going to be questioning me. Then they're going to go back and question their mama. Then they're going to be like, well, why my grandmama letting this man do that to her? Then they're going to think it's okay if I let somebody do that to me. And now they feel like they, um, a man can do it to them. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not going to happen. This is why I had to go and put this young man in check. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Bruh. We just friends. We ain't no boyfriend or girlfriend, no fiance, no husband. We ain't nothing. Friends, conversation. That's it. Because I'm still married. Now, I shouldn't even be talking to you while I'm married. But I'm just, I talk to him. Because my husband go to his little girlfriend house and come on the next day. You get what I'm saying? That's fine. Because what you do in the dark come to the light. But it'll be in the next month. So it really don't matter to me when he's out there doing he been doing it this long. He been he been do, he was doing it two or three years ago, and I didn't know it, but I find out about it. That's why you paying for it, and I'm gonna be a thorn in his ass till I leave here. Y'all can say no, you shouldn't do that. The hell you say? The hell you say? He gonna pay for it, and I'm not gonna even put my hand on him. I'm not gonna even touch nothing in this house. Destroy when I say touch, I mean destroy anything. I'm not gonna do that. But baby, I'm gonna tell you something. I dropped that air condition down to 50 and it'd be cold as hell upstairs. Do you hear me? I don't have to put my hands on it. But I damn sure be running up this light bill in here. I damn sure run up this water bill. He had to pay the insurance on the car. I ain't got to put my hands on them. Mm -mm. I had air conditioning on because I have hot flash. Let me let me re rearrange that. I have hot flashes. 
so the air conditioner have to go on 50 with the ceiling fan and the fan going so I don't sweat at night and my wig come off and I love taking baths I take three baths probably a day if I'm home just sitting around the house I take three baths y'all but ladies all I want to say to y'all queen queens earthly women's queens I love y'all if, if he don't tell y'all, I'm going to tell you ladies. I love y'all, okay? And I'm going to be praying for y'all. Y'all pray for me. Hell, I need some prayer. But y'all don't let these guys run over y'all. Please wake up. Go in the room and close the door and sit there and meditate. Think. Get a book. Get a, get a, go go at Dollar Tree or the Walmart buy you a a 89 cent tablet, a book. Take you a pen. You know, let me show y'all some. Let, let me let me share some with y'all. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just, just watch the thing. This clipboard. Oh, they just be love ingredients. I'm, I'm about to go get me some. I'm gonna go, go shopping and get me some be love sauce and make me some be love with something. I don't know. Pencil. Paper. Start writing down what you want to do with your life. Put it down on paper. Look at it. Analyze it. Do something. Get it together. Start out. Don't just sit there and feel like you got to take that shit from him. You ain't got to take that shit from him. Are you kidding me? It's somebody out there for you. Just don't know when. And don't know how. But if this ain't working for you with him, get the hell out of there. Now if he live with you, pack his sh up and sit it on the front porch. Close the door and lock it and let it stay out there. Bam it on the door. Begging. Plea to come back in. No, nigga, go with your mama, your sister, your auntie. Oh, no, matter of fact, go with the hoe you was with. Let him go with her. Go buy you some mace. Go buy your taser. Lock your door. Don't open it. Let him go. Chain your phone number. Continue to watch your back. Call the cops if you have to. Protect yourself and your family. But let him go. He's going to say, I love you. He's going to say, I won't do it again. He's going to say, I promise. He's going to say, we can work it out. Give me another chance. Those are some of the words that he's going to say. Those words are so damn old and stale today. They don't inspired like raw, stinking, funky ass meat. And if the ding ding, if the eggplant good, baby. You got these. Better put them to work. Besides going to the nail place, you better put these to work. Or go to Spencer. Okay, guys, like I was saying, you better put your fingers to work. That's all I can tell you, sister. But stay wealthy. You're very, 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 um, like, you value. You're worthy. You value. You're worthy. You value. You value. You gr ladies, we all value. Don't allow man to put you down or bring you down. So with that being said, I'm sleepy. I got to get ready to go to work in the morning. And the LED lights are hurting my eyes. I want to say live, love, laugh. Laugh, love, live. Peace, love, and have grease. And take care of yourself out there in the YouTube streets, okay? Your girl love you, okay? The network is not playing. You'll make it. You'll survive. You'll survive. We are called. We are all survivors. We all survivors, okay? So don't let nobody steer you wrong nor tell you wrong. You'll succeed. Let's get it and quit playing before 2022. Walk up on earth and be gone before you know it, and we still be in the same. Motherfucker spot doing the same thing and haven't done nothing for ourselves. 
So let's begin. Let's start next month claiming things, putting things in, in place. Let's get it. Okay? I'll be your motivator. Leave me a comment. You want me to mo motivate you? I will. So anyway, I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.